Hey there, movie buffs. Today, we're diving into a classic from 1943, Shadow of a Doubt. But hold on to your seats because this film isn't just any old flick. Nope, it's packed with funny, shocking, and even sad moments that'll keep you glued to the screen. Ever found yourself pondering over a particular scene from a movie long after it's ended? Well, Shadow of a Doubt might just leave you with one of those moments. Whether it's the suspenseful build-up or the unexpected twists, there's something about this film that lingers in your mind. And hey, do you have a cherished memory linked to this movie? Maybe it's watching it with loved ones or stumbling upon it during a rainy day marathon. Whatever it is, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. So grab your popcorn and settle in because this one's a ride you won't soon forget. Now who's ready to uncover all the secrets lurking in the shadows? The 1943 movie Shadow of a Doubt offers an engaging thriller experience for audiences of its time. While not strictly film noir, it stands out as a well-crafted 40s thriller led by the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. Though it may not be his ultimate work, its quality speaks more to Hitchcock's overall body of work than any flaws in the film itself. Like many films from that era, it starts off slowly, taking its time to introduce the story and characters. But as it progresses, it picks up speed, creating a tense and gripping experience. The movie excels in building suspense using simple means, telling a story about regular people in familiar settings. Despite its basic premise, the screenplay earned an Oscar nomination, showing its effectiveness. Hitchcock's direction is evident in carefully crafted scenes, showing his skill in capturing emotions and setting through innovative camera work. The cast gives strong performances, with characters evolving as the story unfolds, adding layers of tension and mystery. Joseph Cotton's performance is particularly notable, while Teresa Wright shines as the lead. Shadow of a Doubt stands out as a minimalist masterpiece, elevated by its premise and Hitchcock's expert direction. In Shadow of a Doubt, around five minutes into the movie, there's a number 13 on the front door of the boarding house. This might be interesting for people who believe in superstitions. Alfred Hitchcock, famous for his cleverness, joked about getting a Lifetime Achievement Award in 1979, saying it meant he was getting old. Sadly, he passed away just a year later. Despite their ups and downs, Joseph Cotton stayed friends with Orson Welles until Welles died. These mix of superstition, humor, and friendship make Shadow of a Doubt even more intriguing. It shows how complex human connections can be. In Shadow of a Doubt, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, one can notice a pattern in the portrayal of cops. If a cop is destined to die in the plot, the demise tends to be slow or grisly. On the other hand, surviving cops often take on negative roles, reflecting Hitchcock's lifelong fear of law enforcement. Clarence Muse, known for his role as Joe in the film, had parents named Alexander Muse and Mary Kellum. Despite Hitchcock's brilliance, he was notoriously private, refusing to entertain questions about his personal life in interviews. Alfred Hitchcock, voted the greatest director of all time by Entertainment Weekly, directed the movie. Hitchcock's notable works include Psycho, Vertigo, North by Northwest, and Notorious. Teresa Wright, a Best Supporting Actress Oscar winner, appeared in Murder. She wrote along with Claire Trevor, Kim Hunter, and Shirley Jones. Joseph Cotton, acclaimed for his performance in Portrait of Jenny, won Best Actor at the Venice Film Festival. The movie, a classic Hitchcock thriller, features a gripping storyline and stellar performances. Teresa Wright delivers a standout performance, showcasing her talent. Joseph Cotton's portrayal adds depth to the suspenseful narrative. Alfred Hitchcock's masterful direction keeps viewers on the edge of their seats throughout the film. Alfred Hitchcock, renowned for his directorial prowess, helmed Shadow of a Doubt, a 1943 thriller. In this film, Henry Travers, known for his role as Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life, played a notable part. Hitchcock, who considered Louis Buñuel the best director ever, made appearances in almost all of his 56 films except for 18. These exceptions include unfinished projects like Number 13 and completed works like The Pleasure Garden and Jamaica Inn. However, in some films like Lifeboat and Dial M for Murder, he only appeared in photographs. Shadow of a Doubt remains a significant piece in Hitchcock's extensive filmography, showcasing his masterful storytelling and suspenseful techniques. Shadow of a Doubt from 1943 remains notable for several reasons. The movie's impact extended beyond the big screen as it was adapted for radio broadcast in 1946, featuring Joseph Cotton reprising his role. 
Alfred Hitchcock, the acclaimed director, expressed a fondness for the film, citing its juxtaposition of menace within a serene small town setting as a key factor. Additionally, Clarence Muse, a prominent advocate for fair treatment of black performers, played a role in the film. Despite controversy surrounding certain portrayals, Muse championed opportunities for black actors to break free from stereotypical roles. His support for representation in media, including the contentious The Amos and Andy Show, showcased his commitment to broader opportunities for black performers. Overall, Shadow of a Doubt remains a significant piece of cinematic history for its impact on both film and broader cultural discussions. Teresa Wright starred in a notable film called Shadow of a Doubt in 1943. It's a movie recognized by the National Film Registry for its importance. Alongside Mrs. Miniver and the best years of our lives, it added to Wright's list of great movies. Henry Travers, another actor in the film, also has a remarkable history in movies. He was part of five National Film Registry selections, including The Invisible Man, Ball of Fire, Mrs. Miniver, and It's a Wonderful Life, which shows how much his career mattered. Alfred Hitchcock, the director of Shadow of a Doubt, later worked on a project with writer Ernest Lehman after Psycho. The idea was about a blind pianist played by James Stewart who gets sight back through a transplant. The pianist sees a murder through the donor's eyes. Even though they had differences and Walt Disney got involved, the film set in Disneyland and ending with a chase on the RM's Queen Mary didn't happen. These details highlight Teresa Wright, Henry Travers, and Alfred Hitchcock's significant roles in movies, with Shadow of a Doubt being an important part of their journey. Joseph Cotton, recognized for his roles in significant films like Citizen Kane and The Third Man, plays a pivotal character in the 1943 movie Shadow of a Doubt. Alfred Hitchcock, whose reputation as a serious filmmaker was solidified by François Truffaut's book, directed the film. Janet Shaw, who attended Beverly Hills High School after relocating to Los Angeles with her family during her teenage years, also stars in the movie. Cotton's performance under Hitchcock's direction is notable in this thriller. Hitchcock's rise to prominence as an artistic director owes much to Truffaut's book, which sheds light on his career. Shaw's portrayal adds depth to the storyline. Overall, the collaboration between Cotton, Hitchcock, and Shaw contributes to the film's enduring appeal. Alfred Hitchcock, known for his iconic films, collaborated with various writers on a project named The Short Night until his passing in 1980. David Freeman primarily worked on the screenplay, which was later published. Hitchcock was honored with a 32-cent U.S. postage stamp as part of the Legends of Hollywood series released in Los Angeles, California on August 3, 1998. Henry Travers, an actor in the movie, hailed from Irish descent. The film, Shadow of a Doubt, released in 1943, remains a classic Hitchcock thriller, appreciated for its suspenseful narrative and masterful direction.